All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about that winter storm that's gonna be pretty much a clipper system. It's gonna be actually a quite potent one at that, bringing a lot of snowfall for South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and in through a bit of Michigan, especially the lower peninsula. Now, before we get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends and family if they live in the impacted regions. Let's get right into things. We're looking at our storm track graphic here and the storm is going to be from the 9th through the 10th maybe getting started a little bit later today today is the 8th of february so the 9th through the 10th is definitely when this storm is going to be very very potent and clippers are known for being quick and sure enough this one's only going to be two days from montana to out to sea out offshore of maine so i mean very very quick moving system here and i mean we have the potential for 10 to 15 inches of snow here for some areas i think in the bullseye we will see some areas get over 10 inches so definitely a very potent clipper system. Typically, we see these ones only bring two to six inches of snow. So seeing this one bring 10 inches plus is a quite potent storm. Now let's get started with that simulated radar a little bit. We're going to be using our RGEM model again. And this is going to be this morning, uh, fe February 8th, Saturday again. And you can see we have our low pressure system located right over the Montana Rockies there. And we see some mountain snowfall going on all over the place. It's going to be really hard to predict how much of that could fall in different areas. It's just going to be a ton of different banding. But we can see it has moved onshore and it's going to be located over Montana. And to the north of it is our main area of snowfall associated with the low pressure system that's not going to be mountain snowfall it's actually going to be some pretty low elevation snowfall there now we're about to move forward and take a further look at what this one's going to do for areas like montana the dakotas and areas to the east of there All right, and as you can see, by this afternoon, February 8th, we can see it is now located over the very northeastern corner of Wyoming there, bringing some moderate to heavy snowfall there for uh, Montana, especially the northern and very eastern regions of the state of Montana, so the not-so-mountainous regions. To the north there, uh, some pretty heavy snowfall, and to the east as well. We do see some there for uh, kind of the Rockies of Wyoming as well. Let's move forward once again, and this is going to be probably by about 10 p.m. tonight, Saturday, February 8th. And we can see that snowfall has really expanded into a little bit of North Dakota, but especially South Dakota there. We still see an elongated area of light to moderate snow there for central Montana, but mostly South Dakota is going to be what we're talking about at this point. We see our low pressure system is located there in southern South Dakota by this point. And we see some pretty moderate to heavy snowfall, actually, for central South Dakota. Yeah, looking pretty deep blue there, so that's indicating our more heavy area of snowfall. Let's move forward once again, and this is going to be by about 2 a.m. Sunday, February 9th. And we see that heavy band of snowfall still there for central South Dakota and heading into southern Minnesota, as well as northern Iowa there, moderate to heavy snowfall throughout all of those deeper blue colors. And you could probably... See, this is a very thin area of heavy snowfall. Going to be pretty hard to predict this one and going to be pretty easy to mess up. We do have an official snowfall forecast at the end of this video for you guys, which is going to be very, very exciting to present to you. But this one's going to be pretty challenging because it's going to be a very thin area of heavy accumulations to predict here. Now, we're about to move on to where we're going to take a zoomed-in look at the upper Midwest. We're going to start talking about Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan a bit more here, even Chicago. All right, now on this frame, we're talking about Sunday, probably about 6 a.m. February 9th here. South Dakota, we still see the very east central regions of South Dakota getting some pretty moderate to heavy snowfall. As well as southern Minnesota, Min Minneapolis is getting some snowfall by this point, so you guys definitely getting some snowfall. Northern Iowa, now the interesting thing is our RGEM model has you guys receiving a lot of snowfall here, but some other models like the European model, the GFS model... Uh, and even what the National Weather Service is predicting is not giving you guys as much snowfall as the Canadian model is giving you guys. So definitely some potential for, I would say, six inches plus, but also the potential that we stay well under six inches, probably closer to one to three inches of snow. So definitely a very close call for Iowa. Minnesota, the models have been a lot more consistent with southern Minnesota getting at least six to ten inches of snow. Let's move forward once more, and this is going to be by about 10 a.m. on Sunday, and we can see that snowfall 
for Northern Iowa on this model as well. Southern Illinois getting a little bit of front end snowfall. That's going to be very, very short lived, but we see Northern Illinois could get a bit more snowfall uh, and that isn't going to be short lived. We're actually going to have a pretty decent snowstorm for you guys. We see that moderate snowfall moving into Wisconsin, still there for Southern Minnesota, Minneapolis, definitely in that moderate snowfall by this point, but you can see the bullseye on this model is for Northern Iowa. Now, the other models that I was mentioning before, like the European model, which is very well known as the best model around, I like the RGEM a little bit more, but usually a combination of the both is a really good idea of what's going to happen. But the European model keeps that very deep blue just to the north of the Minnesota-Iowa border, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably going to be around the border at least. That's, that's the safest bet, I would say. Now, we're about to move on, but we're going to start talking about Chicago, Indiana, and then also Michigan as well as we move forward with this system. And as you can see by this point, it becomes a lot more widespread, actually. We see those kind of deeper blues kind of spread out north to south there on a kind of a vertical uh, axis. And we see a very large area of moderate snowfall, at least with some heavy banding going on in a lot of areas. Iowa, it's just wrapping up. Same story with Minnesota. But Wisconsin, you're pretty much taking over the entire state, but especially the southern and central regions taken over by moderate to heavy snowfall. And then the northern half of Illinois, same story, including Chicago. Then we see that southern peninsula there of Michigan, or the lower peninsula, uh, getting some light snowfall starting up there for the coastal regions of western Michigan by this point. Also southern Indiana getting some of that front end snowfall, but again, it's going to be pretty short lived. Let's move on one more frame, and this is going to be by time we're reaching probably the afternoon hours of February 9th, Sunday. And you can see those areas that were getting that front end snowfall in Illinois and Indiana have pretty much switched over to rain, but the northern regions of Illinois and Indiana sticking with some snow, and the snowfall is probably sticking by this point. And we're seeing that heavier snowfall kind of move out of uh, Wisconsin and move into Michigan. It's pretty much located over Chicago as well, northern Indiana, and moving into Ohio, but we can see Wisconsin, it's pretty much transferred over to the lower peninsula of Michigan by this point. Let's go ahead and move on, and this is going to be by 9 p.m. on Sunday, February 9th there, and we're going to see pretty much all wrapped up for Wisconsin and Illinois by this point. You can see we're getting very close to the rain snow line there in Chicago. That's what's going to happen towards the end of this system. Uh, and same story with Indiana. It's switching over to rain. You can see that rain snow line is consistently moving north as we progress through the storm. We're still seeing moderate snowfall there for the lower peninsula, as well as northern Ohio by this point. Let's move forward once more. And you can see by the time we reach about 2 a.m. on Monday, February 10th, it's all said and done for the upper Midwest, I would say, by this point. Snow showers lingering for Wis or for Michigan, sorry. And we see some rain mixing in right at the end for Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Let's move over to the Northeast, though. And you can see snowfall starting up for northern Pennsylvania throughout New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Uh, let's move on. And this is going to be by about... Mm, I'd say it's 6 a.m. on February 10th, and it's pretty much a high elevation snowfall event, it looks like, for the northeastern United States on Monday. Let's move on again, and this is going to be by the afternoon, and you can see the rain snow line throughout this storm is just moving further north, further north, further north, like I said before, and by this point, it's pretty much all said and done. Now, we're about to take a look at our modeled snowfall forecast and also our official snowfall forecast for this major winter storm. That's going to be very, very exciting to take a look at with you guys. Now, quickly, just in case you were wondering, here's our Canadian model's snowfall forecast. In the blue colors, we're looking at a dusting to 3 inches of snow. In the purple, 3 to 6 inches of snow. And then in the pink, 6 to 12 inches of snow, you can see we have a layer of that through South Dakota and then in through Minnesota and Iowa. Let's get started with our official snowfall forecast, though. Within this pink area, we will be seeing some mountain snowfall. Some of it will be associated with our system, and some of it won't be, but there will be some mostly elevation snowfall within that pink region. Let's add our dusting to three-inch layer there, and we can see that goes through Montana, areas in Wyoming, through South Dakota for the most part, and then over southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and then through a lot of the upper Midwest there, including Chicago, Detroit, up through into the northeastern United States. Let's add our three to six inch layer, and you can see this pretty much extends all the way through it. You can see for the upper Midwest, it's pretty widespread, but as you look at the northeastern United States, you can see it's mostly elevation, 
uh, a lot of the Green Mountains, White Mountains, and then very, very far eastern regions of Maine getting that three to six inch amounts. But we're going to have a lot of mixing issues in the valleys and the lower elevation areas. It's going to be a messy, messy storm there for the interior northeastern United States. Let's add our 6 to 10 inch layer here, and you can see I think that's going to extend from South Dakota through into southern Minnesota there, and a little bit of northern Iowa, but I think it's going to be a bit further north than what the Canadian model was showing, and then straight through in through central Wisconsin, including Green Bay, and I think Milwaukee even is on the very southern end of that. And then you can see the lower peninsula of Michigan. I get a little bit of that on the very uh, western coastal regions there, getting some of that 6 to 10 inch amounts. And on this layer, I accidentally put it as 6 to 10 inches there. You can hardly even see it anyway, but that's our 10 to 15 inch area actually in the darker, deeper navy blue there. And that's going to extend from southern Minnesota through the very central western regions of Wisconsin. And I think that's going to be pretty scattered for the most part, but I do believe a lot of areas will get over 10 inch amounts there. We will see some numbers come in of 10 to 15 inch amounts there in the bullseye of this storm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video.